Why do central banks want digital currencies and what do they mean for you? If we think about the monetary system right now, when central banks implement quantitative easing, for example, what they do is basically that they inject liquidity into the economy, but the increase in money supply is distributed through the banking mechanism. The transmission mechanism of monetary policy, therefore, has a number of stops, including your demand for credit, the business's demand for credit. Therefore, if the central bank implements very aggressive monetary policies and the increase in money supply is enormous, what tends to happen is that there are a number of backstops that permit a lower level of inflation. Even with such mechanism, inflation has happened all over the world. Now let's think of what a central bank digital currency does. What happens is that you would have your account directly at the central bank. And therefore, when the central bank implements monetary expansion, for example, it would immediately push that money into your account and it would have all of the information about where you spend it on, what do you do with that money, and how much do you decide to save, how much do you decide to spend, and where. Not only just that, also what we need to understand is that the risk of eliminating the backstops that uh, reduce the risk of inflation creates a much larger inflationary pressure. If the central bank decides to eliminate the transmission mechanism of money to, uh, policy of uh, money supply and monetary policy, what it ends up literally doing is that if there is an excessive amount of money injected in the system, it would immediately appear in prices of goods and services. It would not just create inflation in assets, as quantitative easing does. It would also create immediate levels of inflation in all goods and services. It obviously puts at risk the purchasing power of the currency because central banks tend to err on not on the side of caution but on the side of excess. So the biggest risk of money creation is that it's never neutral. Money creation always disproportionately negatively affects savers and real wages and disproportionately benefits the first recipients of that newly created money, which are governments and the highly indebted sectors. The risk of central bank digital currencies is that, one, it eliminates the transmission mechanism of money supply. Two, that it could be viewed as surveillance disguised as money. Central bank would have all of the information about what you do and what you do with your money. And third, that the risk of inflationary pressures would be higher because the purchasing power of the currency could be destroyed rather quickly. Furthermore, it is very likely that these central bank digital currencies will be uh, fungible, which means that newly created money will appear in your bank, uh, but it could also disappear from the bank if the central bank, quote-unquote, finds that you save way too much. Hmm? In essence... It is not a very good idea, and it's not a very good idea to start with because the independence of central banks has been criticized, and rightly so, and put into question in a period in which excessive monetary policy has fundamentally benefited governments, government debt, and government spending. Uh, furthermore, it has uh, evidence that the risk of not combating inflation rapidly enough is already here. It's clear on everything that we're seeing on the changes in the monetary policy and in the changes in the high rate decisions from central banks. They tend to err uh, on the side of excess. So uh, a digital currency that does include a lot of the mistakes of monetary policy as we know it right now, but adds a significant number of the mistakes that can happen in uh, heavily intervened central banks or heavily government-linked central banks is even larger. As such, 
we have to be at least aware of the risk of having currencies that will be surveillance disguised as money, second, that will be heavily inflationary, and third, that it could certainly destroy the confidence in the currency in the long term. So let's pay attention to this risk because it's not small.